Hey, sweet loves. Welcome back to Sweets Unmuted. Okay. I thank you guys for tapping in with your girl, Sweets. To my new subscribers, thank you for joining the Sweets Unmuted family. To my returning subscribers, I appreciate your love and your loyalty, sweet love. If you're new to the channel and you're just dropping by, I'm going to ask that you go ahead and click that like button. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we're on the road to 1K, okay? So, let's hop in the driver's seat with sweets and help us get there. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and click that post notification bell so that you are notified each and every time I go live and each and every time I upload a new video. So, we're going to get in some of the, into some of the war and uncut truth. Okay, sweet loves? We're going to see what the Holy Spirit got for us. Holy Spirit, I thank you for this divinely orchestrated reading. I surrender my mind, body, and spirit to you in this moment, dear God. I ask that you use me as you will. Use me as a vessel for the messages that you need to be conveyed to my sweet loves. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, cleanse your energy a little bit. So let's see what spirit God does. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my sweet loves? What is it that you need my sweet loves to know and be aware of? Okay, okay. Okay. So we got bottom bitch and body aches. So your bottom bitch could be having body aches. All right. Someone that is your bottom bitch could be experiencing body aches. For those of you who don't know what bottom bitch is, bottom bitch is like your ride or die. That's your go-to person. That's y'all like this, y'all damn. Okay. Started from the bottom, now y'all here. Well, hopefully it ain't uh nowhere bad. So you or this person could be short. So we got bottom bitch, body aches, short. When I see that, Holy Spirit. Okay. So we have your choices come with consequences. So. I mean, your bottom bitch can either know that their choices come with consequences. Or your choice to whatever it is that you could have going on. Or could be doing to this person. Your choice comes with consequences. We have you one to him, you got him now. Keep him and get ready for the ride. So, somebody that y'all wanted, about to take y'all on a roller coaster ride. I mean, if you like roller coasters, I guess that's good. If you don't, yeah, you probably won't like that too much. Okay, so we got that. Shall get this money? There we go. Thou shalt get this money. So a year from now, you guys will be getting to the bag or getting the bag, okay? So we got thou shalt get this money a year from now. So um, if you recently started a business, the spirit is more than likely letting you know that you'll see an increase in finances and the clientele within your business within the next year, okay? Then we have clean bill of health. Some of you guys could have went to the doctors uh, recently and you now have a clean bill of health. I'm saying now, so maybe the health wasn't so clean before because I didn't really intend to say now. I just intended to say clean bill of health. Either way, we have clean bill of health. Uh, you or someone else that has a clean bill of health could be could drive a white car so if you have someone in your energy that drives a white car spirit could be letting you know that they have a clean bill of health all right whoever this person is spirit says he or she has it way too good with you okay he or she has it way too good with you or you could have it way too good with them take away resonates we got you hyped about a weak-ass clout chaser that don't take care of his kids. 
okay? So we got a weak ass clout chaser that don't take care of their kids that could possibly drive a white car. Okay? And take it where it resonates as far as his or her kids. Because you could drive a white car and you could be a male that drive a white car and have a female in your energy that has a way too good with you. But you hyped about I hyped about this uh, weak ass clout chaser and sis don't even take care of her kids. So take that where it resonates, sweet love. So we have he or she don't need you, they want you. So sweet love, y'all got somebody got energy who don't really need you, but they want y'all. They see what you got going on, they see you standing in your power, they like what you bring to the table, and they want you. You or this person could be experiencing troubles and disappointments at their t at this time. Why? Because someone here is listening to family and friends. But Spirit says, don't you worry about it, okay? Don't you worry about it because just let God show you how magical he is, okay? So someone in this situation doesn't have a job. We got where you work at, Tommy. So it could be a male that doesn't have a job with the with the name being Tommy. Or it could be a female. Take away resume. Whoever it is, is somebody that can't control their liquor. Somebody that can't control their liquor doesn't have a job. You got way work at Tommy. But when it comes to this troubles and disappointments, and this person listening to their family and friends about you see love. Go about to show you just how magical he is. Okay. So we have a father figure who was a roller stone who can't control their liquor. He's out of work. Thank you, Spirit, for clarifying that. Okay, so heavy on a vacation energy coming through. It's giving me vacation energy. I'm gonna just say that. So we got Vegas, Miami, New Orleans in the A, Nola in the A. God gives and takes away. All right. We got a breakthrough is coming. We got your mother jealous. And we got Mexico. So with this, this is definitely giving me travel energy. Or you could have traveled to one of those four places with someone. Okay. And... Whoever this person is that you travel with, God gave you to them as a gift, okay? But God does what? God gives and God takes away, all right? But Spirit is saying, don't you worry about nothing because a breakthrough is coming, okay? So if you went through an ending recently or just, you know, in the past, I don't know, year, two years, um, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Beautiful tears. Okay? Because the breakthrough is coming. Now, you could be receiving this breakthrough and you can have a mother that's jealous. Um, take that. We are resonates. We got Mexico. So, maybe your mother jealous that you're traveling to Mexico. Take it where it resonates. But we got um, a breakthrough is definitely coming. Okay? A breakthrough is for sure coming. Let's get... Let's get a little bit of the kipper going on with that. A breakthrough is coming. What breakthrough is coming to my sweet love, sweet spirit? Oh, at the bottom, great fortune. It could also be a partnership. Yeah. All right. I couldn't even get it out. Spirit, what is this breakthrough that's coming in reference to? Two to three cards. Okay, and I said that, right? I said, y'all just recently went through an ending, okay? You went through an ending with a thief, somebody that was stealing your time, your money, or your energy. Okay? Yeah, because you're a mature woman. You're too mature for this nonsense. So, Spirit, you know, chances are you were divinely guided to walk away from this person. Started stepping in your path with standing up. Okay, Spirit. <laughs> I knew it was coming. That's why I said, let me get the kipper. 
Because I felt it in my spirit. A breakthrough is coming. You guys are going to be experiencing seven wealth, sweet love. Okay? A breakthrough is coming. Sudden wealth. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that. Okay, sweet loves, praise him in advance. Praise him in advance. Because the good father said a breakthrough is coming. Don't worry about nothing. Okay? Don't worry about anything. Okay? You went through this ending? Spirit told you to walk away from this thief? You did the right thing. Okay? And guess what? You're about to be rewarded for your obedience. Okay? Spirit is about to reward you for your obedience with this breakthrough. See, the good father gonna let us know what we need to know every single time. Every single time. The feelings of guilt, her shame and defeat. The weight of trials that beat up on me. But to know, Lord, that in you, I've got victory. Yeah. I'm sorry, sweet love. Y'all know I be liking to sing. I got the music in the background, and I need you now. It's playing so spirit, you know. You're going to do. Some of y'all probably are going to do very, very tough times right now. And you could need the good father right now. You could be calling on his name after experiencing troubles and disappointments, okay? You could be letting him know you need him. Not another second, another hour, another minute, spirit, right here, right now, today, okay? Let's go ahead and get a little pre and with that being said, we are gonna get another, uh, get a little, pray for my sweet love. Please. I'm lighting the Palo Santo, y'all. I'm trying to get the smoke down. Holy Spirit, I ask that you fill my sweet loves up. Whatever it is that they may be facing at this time, whatever it is they may be seeking you for, I ask that you fill them up with the strength and the courage, dear God, to continue to lean on you, continue to see you as the way, continue to know and understand that if they're experiencing troubling times or dark times, you will carry them over the troubling borders, dear God. You will bring them and allow them to see the light, dear God, if they just continue to follow your guidance, continue to stay connected and close to you, dear God. If they're experiencing financial difficulties at this time, dear God, I ask that you cast away all of their worries and all their fears and allow them to understand that can't no man provide you with more than God can provide you with, okay? I thank you, Father. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for just being you, for your word, for being magnificent, for being awesome, for constantly reminding us that, you know, we are your children and if we stay connected to you, you will see us through anything that you bring us to, dear God. When it comes to the breakthrough that is coming my sweet love's way, dear God, I thank you. I thank you for it. I thank you for them, dear God. I thank you for just doing what you're doing and, and, and just showing my sweet loves that as long as they listen to you, they'll always be okay. Though they may not have wanted to walk away from this situation or they may not have wanted to experience this ending, but you never take away anything without replacing it with better. And just as a parent will reward their child, you reward your kids for their obedience. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so that's a little, a little bit of, a little prayer for y'all, sweet love. So we got you make me feel free, okay? So some of this thing, you make me feel free. Whoever this person is, they got a little bit of drive to them, okay? Spirit said, this one got drive. And they make you feel free. You make them feel free, sweet love. They can make you feel free too, excuse me. So we got a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's loud and corny, okay? So on the other hand of this person that makes you feel free, you got a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's loud and corny. Okay, so someone loud and corny could be trying to pin an ST, STD on you, okay? 
Then we have Be More Giving. Cheesy Feet. So, you can have a loud and corny person in your energy with stink feet. And they trying to pin a STD on you. That is a whole lot of whatever spirit. Who you want my sweet loves to be more giving to? You know, nobody that's trying to pin an STD on them, is it? But Spirit says, be more giving and set up boundaries. Now, you guys going to have to go ahead and tap in with the good father and, and, and ask him to clarify that um, in reference to you. Because he could just be making you aware that this loud and corny uh, person with the stink feet is trying to pin the STD on you. Okay? Um, and he could just be advising you to be more given instead of boundaries. So, I mean, you may need to set up boundaries with this lad on Coney person that's trying to pin an SCD on you. As far as be more given spirit, yeah, I'm gonna need you to clarify that one. Okay, I'm gonna need the because I would, you know, in my mind, I would think that if someone is loud and corny and trying to pin an STD on you, that you wouldn't even want them in your energy to be able to get to them. So, please clarify. For my sweet loves, let them know exactly what it is you're trying to get them to know. So we got tap into your generational gifts, okay? So we you know we all have gifts that are passed down from one generation to the next, okay? Um, for instance, my grandmother here, she was a great cook, and she also was a seamstress, um, which are would be considered a generational gift. Now, I myself um, don't feel like I inherited the seamstress qualities that she, you know, gift that she has. However, I never really put myself to the test and tapped into it. But my sister did, you know. So this is a generational gift that my sister has and as well as one of my daughters. They're able to sell so that's an example of a generational gift okay so we got they hurt you but want revenge because you walked away okay mm -hmm. they mad they mad because they was cheating sneaking and creeping on you and you gave the courage and the self-love to walk away from them and now they want revenge what the hell you think somebody's my sweet love was supposed to stay and let you play with them? Yeah, no. <laughs> they ain't happening. My sweet love said, nope. This ain't that and that ain't this. Okay? But Spirit said, tell them, don't hate you. Don't tell them, don't hate me because you ain't me. Okay? Don't hate you. All right? So we got you and Grandma's favorite. So Grandma could be um, your actual grandmother or if your mama grandmother. Take it where it resonates. Um, and it's considering that we do have the your mother jealous but either way it goes we have don't hate me because you ain't me so you ain't grandma's favorite spirit said tell grandma yeah don't hate me because you ain't me all right sweet love let the people know that hate and shit keeps you stuck so if you want to hate yeah chances are you end up stuck and stagnant and that ain't the place to be so we have opposed to your belief system. So Mr. Pop in and out. Okay. Mr. Pop in and out. Who always in and out of your life. That's why you ended it with that thief. Because they was always popping in and out. Stealing your time, your money, and your energy. Okay. They're opposed to your belief system. They're spiritual hater. And they could be giving you bad advice about something. If you're trying to follow your spiritual path, they could be um, giving you bad advice. Or a friend could be giving, giving you bad advice on purpose in reference to someone that's ready to be exclusive. Either way, we got ready to be exclusive. Turn your back to it. Mechanic. Then we have heart chakra, big family, okay? So you can have a mechanic energy that is ready to be exclusive, okay? This person 
with heart chakra here, this person can need to unblock their heart chakra. Either way, spirit is saying, turn your back to it. You or this person could have a big family. Then we have this connection will change your life. So clarify that spirit because what are you trying to say? Um, if the connection is going to change your life. Okay, we got this connection will change your life. My condolences. Hmm. So another thing that I'm getting as well, right, sweet loves? You can have a mechanic that's ready to be exclusive and your friend is giving you bad advice on purpose about this situation. You can either turn your back to this advice. But honestly, the way it comes out, it gives me ready to be exclusive. Somebody coming your way, this mechanic coming your way, they want to be exclusive and spirit saying turn your back to it. But either way, a connection with someone with a big family will change your life. But then we have my condolences. So that could be an actual death. Um, and as a result of this death, your life is going to change. Or your life is going to change drastically after just an ending with someone. Now, I will say this, sweet loves, because we got the cards over here. With this con connection will change your life and my condolences. And then having the coffin over here as well as, as well as sudden wealth. Right? You guys can receive some type of inheritance as a result of the death. So, I know that's kind of like all over the place. But take that where it resonates. Okay? What else do you have, Spirit? Anything else for my sweet love? So we got wishing it was them, not you. They don't love you enough to change their ways and wine and dine. So somebody that's about to come try to wine and dine you, okay? They wishing that it was them and not you, okay? Don't hate me because you ain't me back to that. Okay, so you could be in the spotlight right now. You can be living it up, you know, enjoying your life. Or just stepping into your purpose. And you have somebody that's trying to wind and dine you, but whoever they are, they don't love you enough to change. Any other final messages from the spirit? I said that already, right? And I'm still wishing them. So we got there's a calling on your life step into your purpose, okay? The card that flipped was bad temper. So someone that has a bad temper, if you got a bad temper, spirit could want you to know that there's a calling on your life step into your purpose. So we have you loyal, but he keeps choosing other bitches, all right? So sweet love, spirit wants you to step into your purpose, okay? Lose the bad temper, step into your purpose. Whether it be feminine or masculine, whether you be feminine or masculine, you're a loyal person, but somebody keeps choosing other people over you. And whoever this person is that keeps choosing other people over you is gay for pay. This person that's gay for pay, you can see them as a homie, a lover, and a friend. All right? So that's somebody, you know, that's your homie. Y'all can blow it down, take this, have a sip, go chill, whatever it is. Like y'all bros, like y'all, you know, that's your sis, however the vibe is. They're a lover though as well because, you know, being a lover, there's some type of sexual interaction, some type of dating, or some type of intimacy going on. And then that's also your friend. You call them when you need advice. You call them at a time of need. So whether that person is, they gave for pay and they always choosing somebody else over you. 
Oh, that was it, right? I said, I said I'm going to take um any final messages, and I'm still going. Okay, sweet loves. That is it. Let you know what? We're going to get an affirmation. But all this stuff on the board, we're going to go ahead and get an affirmation. Holy Spirit, what dream is affirmation do you have for my sweet loves? Okay. I am ready to grow. Can I have another one? That one came out yesterday, so. Um, thank you. I know that every dream in my heart is waiting to bloom. I am ready to grow. Okay? Sweet love. Be ready to grow. Let them dreams flourish. Your ideas, your visions flourish. We have, I know that each step I take toward one dream creates momentum for the next. I am moving forward. Okay. One more. Continue to press forward, sweet loves. She needs one dream after another. Thank you. Ah. We got two. I am abundant. Okay. Okay. Spirit not playing with y'all. Spirit said, a breakthrough is coming, sudden wealth, and I am abundant. Affirm it. Okay? I know that money flows to me freely when I pursue my passions. I am abundant. Thank you, Spirit. Loving that energy. I am optimistic. I know that for every door that life closes, a new one opens around the corner. I am optimistic. Okay? God ain't going to close one door without having another one waiting and ready to be open for you, okay? But sweet loves, I need y'all to, I'm sorry, that light, man. I need y'all to go ahead and affirm this, all right? Affirm that you are abundant because you got sudden wealth coming towards you. All right? So that's it. We going to get on out of here. I'll be back to y'all with another one. Have a blessed day and a safe day. Love and light to you all.